All right, welcome back in. So today I'm going to show you, I've actually done this before for another video, but I did it with some of the old stuff and I only went down one item to show you, it was over here, it was to show you these. How to set uh, braziers down to make uh, kind of like landscape pathing. But this, I wanted to go a little bit further and show you with the new items more of what you can do. So I am using here, this is the Crypt Brazier. This is what it is you normally stand. You know, it's nice, it's got the circular with the bones st sticking around, the little skulls, they look great. This is sunk down one, sunk down twice, sunk down three times. And what I mean by that is this. So if I do one layer down, I'm doing just the singular, grabbing my item putting it down one putting it there taking this hitting y and you're done and that's one down then i do two down by taking the number four three down obviously i'm adding a few of these at the bottom of the number four and cetera and so forth so that's what it looks like and what different effects like this one's really cool where it's a uh, kind of a uh, I don't know, like a like a little standing brazier, like maybe that's just a very small piece right above my hammer right there uh, is a small base. I like this one too without the actual uh, curled legs. That looks really neat. I don't care as much for this, but I can see someone coming up with some pretty interesting ideas for it. Then you get to big boy. <laughs> I, I think people don't really understand just how big this damn thing is. It's massive. And this is, I will show you. By the way, these are all crafted with the new guy. Uh, the new NPC from the Hollow Hall. Uh, this is Iron Crypt Brazier. And gives you a plus four. And it's just ridiculous. It's so, so, so big. Almost comically so. So in these, because it is so big, I went down two. I think that looks really cool. Because it gets rid of the legs. And... I honestly think that looks like exactly how it should be sitting there. Then this is down four. So it sinks down a little bit more. You got now you got some spiky look to it. Pretty cool bringing it down to our level closely. This is down six. I really like this. Uh, give you a good like maybe if you put um, the nightstand that kept mall showcased where you could do a, a curve with it if you put that around the outside i could see that being a really cool uh, bonfire type experiment and then down seven now down eight is going to do something just like this right here but obviously way more fire but this is down seven it's done ex all exactly the same way just these it's a little easier if I do it like this, come over here to the 4 meter, and I want to be on number 1. So the easiest way to do these is you find a spot that you can remove and go down like that. I'm obviously not going to do that, but that's the best way to do these because the problem is if you just go down with this tool, number 4, you can go down 6, 7, however far, but good luck trying to get that down there while you have this big massive thing in your way. And I'll show you. It's it's a real pain. Like, I can't get it down there without it hitting me. And then I'm standing in the way, not enough free space. So you can't actually do it that way. You need to have a larger chunk. It probably would also work with this one the two meter square so it probably all but all of these are the big squares because I paved over so that I could have this uh, test space but it would probably also work with that if you had that as your paving and I can't imagine many are doing that with paving they're doing this that was what I meant to do but yeah that gives you an idea of further ways that you can decorate your space now I just use these two but you can do it with anything any, any of these items that you can bury, any type of brazier, you come over here, you got these guys, and I even buried these in, in various 
depths. This one's a little deeper. You can do it with these things here. You can do it with any of the old style uh, standing torches. You could do it with these. Maybe you wanted to have just... Well, let's find out. I'll make sure I can pick it up and not everything else around here. So you can even do it with something like this. And let's do... Probably... Probably this. I'm thinking two will get me far enough. So, yep, two will work. So, you could even do something like that, you know? Like someone left their lantern sitting on the ground. And that is another way that you can sync items. Any kind of lights you want. Uh, it's how I sink down uh, the chairs over here uh, when I was making, I don't know, whatever the heck this stuff was that I was making, you know. Uh, so play around with it. See what you can come up with. It's how you can sink these down and have like a carpet, if you will. This would be the same concept. It's just that I raised the floor on this. So you could have this carpet runner by just sinking items down. But just play around with it. See what you come up with. I'm sure you will come up with some just beautiful things for your base. Thanks for watching.